I'll tell you where I would like to be. I'd like to be at Crave with Jill. That's where she's hanging out this morning doing some holiday baking. Is it icing time? It is icing time. It's always icing time here at Crave. Uh, but we are icing up these gingerbread cookies that we made earlier. So the yeah. key is that the dough has to cool, right? Yeah, so the dough has to cool, preferably for a couple of hours. But it worked out pretty good. I just kind of pre-rolled it out of here a little bit. Okay. So um, rolling cookies, there's definitely a fine art to rolling cookies. So you're better off, we split the dough in about two, and this side's a recipe, mm -hmm. so that then it's easier to roll. And then you just kind of feel, and you want to make sure it's not too thick and not too thin. I know my aunt loved them thin, thin, but not all of us like it super thin, so we like to make it a little bit thicker. Okay. So now it's pretty much ready. So you just kind of feel, you just that can kind of good. go by feel. This I is why agree. hand baking is so good, mm -hmm. because when you do it by hand, you can feel exactly what's going on. Okay, now I'm doing the cutouts here. That's right. So the trick is to get the cutout on the top, you need a bit of planning, right? A little bit of planning. So every second one gets a cutout. Yes, correct. Every second one. And then the little gingerbread men, then we actually take and we use them to top our gingerbread cupcakes that we have this month, too. Oh, how cute is that? Yeah, it's perfect. So then these just come off like yep. this, and then we'll put them on the baking sheet. Yep. Oh, and then, I'm squished. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> just kind of go. You just kind of dig it out. Yeah. Okay. And then just take the little guy out of the center. Uh -huh. And then the little guy bakes off separately. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right. And it's okay because then when you, when you ice them and sandwich them together, it doesn't really matter if they're not exactly the same anyway. Okay, so, so we have a piping bag here. And yeah. is this vanilla? This is eggnog icing. Yeah, it's the eggnog icing. So it has um, real eggnog in it and then um, some nutmeg in it for the spices of the... Um, eggnog. So and this then, is another seasonal thing, the eggnog icing. You guys don't do this throughout. You, no, yeah, no, for sure. We had to, um, we actually had to wait. It comes out earlier and earlier every year, I think, in eggnog. I think it was out before Halloween this year. Oh, really? So we were doing our testing, making sure um, it tasted good with the with the um, cookie and the cupcake this year. And so, of course, we have to wait until the eggnog comes out. Of course. And so I think it came out in about, um, yeah, there you go. And sometimes we just smooth it down a little to like this oh. here so then your little man is smooth we call them actually gingerbread people gingerbread people it's the gingerbread people and then we've packaged them up really cute in a bag what a nice gift that that is yeah there's your bag so you can do the other one okay so it's great right you can do your own baking package them up in little gift bags and um give them away to your friends or whatever loved ones and baking is really personal, it's special. It really can show the people that you love how much you care by giving them some really nice homemade baking. Love if you it. have time to do it yourself, great. Yeah. Um, and if you don't have time, Craig you is always here to do here. the baking for you. Absolutely. Tara, I am packaging up these little gingerbread people just for you. Um, I would appreciate that. And